Hello everyone and my name is Hayley Louise and welcome to this video. So in today's video I am going to be doing a full face with vegan makeup. So this year Veganuary really really like really really did hit the UK hard. People are full of, people are converting all over the place. It's really well it's, it's, it's a positive step planet and it's not just about like food choices you want to think about um, the companies that you're buying from, where is their profit actually going? Is it helping or hindering the planet, you know? So um, I just thought I've done a few vegan related videos here on the channel before and I thought that this one would be a very good one. It is beauty related um, and it's a full face of vegan. One thing to note that I actually didn't know, and I don't know if it is a uh, well-known fact or not or if I'm just really late to the game, but just because a makeup um, product claims to be vegan that does not necessarily mean that that product is also cruelty free. I have double checked every single item that I am going to be using on my face today. So as of filming this video all of these items are vegan within the UK. I don't know if it differs in ingredients in other countries. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen in the future. Obviously, companies get bought, sold all of the time. All of these items um, are not necessarily from a completely vegan brand. The product itself from that brand is vegan. Um, there are also some ones on here, some products on here that are the whole brand itself is vegan which is absolutely fabulous so let's start off with a little bit of prep shall we my lips have been very very dry the uk weather has been horrendous when is it not guys so i'm going to start off by applying some dr pawpaw so this is the original balm multi-purpose soothing balm with natural pawpaw for lips skin cuticles and beauty finishing fragrance free and vegan so that is absolutely great i absolutely love this if you've got really really ridiculously chapped lips uh chapped hands anything like that uh it makes a world of difference within a couple of minutes so i thought i'm just going to put this on before starting any makeup and then my lips will be lovely and moisturized and juicy Next item here is from Polar Eclat Boreal. So I got this free in a birch box and I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, and this is gonna act kind of like as my moisturizer and my um, primer at the same time. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on there and it smells amazing. What I will do with all of the products guys is link them all below in the description box. So if you are interested in any of these items um, you can go and have a nose and check them out for yourselves. Just clip my fringe out of the way for a minute because I just feel like you're just getting in the way mate. Sorry. Sorry about it. I I am so incredibly attractive right now. Okay. Now that that's on, I am going to be using the, for foundation today, is the Cover FX Custom Drops. These are absolutely brilliant. Um, it's a really, really lightweight foundation, but it also is pretty full coverage. Um, and obviously you can mix it in with other things as well. I am just using it straight today. I want pretty sort of like, just light layer on my face I don't want to feel it um, and this is also gluten free as well as being vegan so I thought that was very very interesting today I think I'm using the color NC20 or NC30 but um, yeah I will link every single item that I use in the um, thing below and what I also love about it is this little dropper as well so you're not wasting product by um, scraping it you know onto the thing you just pop it on the back of your hands it's lovely so next up for concealer I have two options so I've got one in a lighter shade for highlighting, cancelling out my dark circles, etc. And I've got one in a more similar shade, closer to my foundation, to um, spot check and all of that. So I'm gonna be applying that one first. So this concealer is from the collection um, and it is probably about three pounds. And it's one of the best 
uh, spot concealers I've ever seen because it really doesn't go cakey. Like I've put this, I know you're not supposed to guys, but I've put this on top of um, scabs to hide them and things like that and it's just so, so good. So remember, if you are spot concealing, to do it in a colour similar or even a shade darker to your foundation because we don't want to draw attention to um, that area. That's not what we're trying to do. So, same as highlighting and contouring, you know, darker colours make things go back, lighter colours bring things forward and we don't want to do that when it comes to spots. Next up for concealing on the under eyes is MUA Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer. So I've gotten this in a shade or so lighter than my foundation. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer just on the areas where it's dark and blend that out with a beauty blender. And then next to set all of that in place and set under my eyes especially because I do get very, very creasy regardless of what I use. So this is the MUA Makeup Academy Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder. I've got this one in transparent but there are multitudes of colours of these. I think there's probably about seven or eight from colour correcting to different tones etc. And these are really, really good. These are still, these are about three pounds four pounds something like that and i would actually compare it very much so to the rcma no color powder if anyone has ever tried that so there's that we're going to use this to set next up is brows i have been using this product forever I actually really, really love it. Um, this is the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade. This is in the colour Chocolate. Um, some of their um, products are vegan. They've actually released a whole line, a sideline, that is actually just vegan makeup straight up. Um, but if you do double check, a lot of these are vegan, including the pomades, including the uh, Conceal and Define that everyone knows and loves or has opinions on. Um, so that's really, really good. It's just a really accessible, accessible product. So I am going to now fill in my brows using this. And brows are on for now. Um, I really love that product. Once it sort of dries, it's in place, it's on there. And for it to be vegan as well, I mean, yay, all around, isn't it? I am going to use literally the tiniest, tiniest little amount of the uh, Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer from MUA that I used earlier on my under eyes. I'm just literally gonna put a little bit of dot, buff it out just so we even up the eyelid a little bit. Um, but I don't want a lot of product under there. I wouldn't re normally recommend this, but I don't have an eye base to hand um, that is fully vegan at the moment. So if you do know of anything or have any suggestions for me, let me know in the comment section down below. My poor palette is now starting to look a little bit worse for wear, but we have today gonna have a play with the Morphe X James, not James Charles, Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. Um, this palette is obviously fully vegan. It follows the Jeffree Star formula. Um, you can see some of these I've already dipped into and they're well used. So we're gonna try and try and dip. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Maybe a spotlight eye. I really wanna use that silver. So first off, for a little just wash of color, I'm going into 1985 which is this beautiful color here nice little darker than my skin tone moment i'm just gonna sort of wash that through my crease and just around that general area
and I've really liked lately taking shadows up here in this little segment at the front of the brow. Next, let's just make this quite dark. Let's jump into it. I am going to be taking uh, Calabasas, which is this beautiful, like, dark brick red. I'm just going to pop that in the crease on the outside and a little bit on the inner corner. Stamp it on. I take a fluffy brush and just tickle those edges and blend it out. I'm also going to just extend that underneath my eye a little bit at the outside with what I've got left on the brush. I'm going to go in with a brown, which is this one down here. Hi, dude! And take that just into the crease either side, inner and outer. And a little touch in the outer corner. So I'm just going to go back in the middle of this now with a, the, a little bit of concealer to just cut out that middle segment, give it a bit more definition and then we are going to go in with this gorgeous custom rims at the side which is sparkly, beautiful. Tidy up the edges a little bit with more of that brick colour. Okay, now we're done here. It's time for a little bit of eyeliner. So we are going to go for the MUA Gel Eyeliner. And uh, this is really, really good. Stays in your waterline amazing amount of time um, and it's a pretty good pretty good uh, liquid liner too so would recommend Also going to put that in the waterline. Little buff underneath. This is one eye near enough completely done, like eyeshadow wise. I am going to do the other eye, I am going to, that makes sense doesn't it? So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I will be back to join you for the rest and we shall continue. We go with both eyes done, I am just going to take that silver again, that custom rims colour and just put a little bit right underneath um, my eyes to kind of match up with the silver on top. So just literally patting that on there, oh I like it. So just to check, double check that my uh, eyebrows actually stay in place all day, this is a Fill and Tame Brow Gel. This is from the company Butanic and Beauty and every single one of their products is 100% vegan, organic and cruelty free. So they're really, really good. I actually really, really rate these little, um, 
mascara ones. They're very similar to the uh, Gimme Brow ones. Slight definition. You like a, a little bit of a fluffy brow moment? Even if I don't actually have the brows to do so. Make it tea, make it girls. So lashes, um, I am going to be using another MUA product actually, so this is the Mo Volume High Impact Magnifying Mascara from MUA, um, it's actually a really decent mascara, I mean it's not the best but it's what I have to hand, it's totally vegan and it does the job. Um, I am going to be putting on some falsies today so really I just want the colour and these are like really really pigmented black. Um, the lashes I'm going to use, I don't actually have the container for anymore and I don't even know where I put them, oh my god. A little set from Morphe and uh, they are completely 100% synthetic lashes. It's 2020 guys, do we really still need to be um, wearing mink lashes? I mean, honestly, synthetic is a man-made fibre. You can also get silk lashes as well um, that last a really, really long time. They're a little bit more expensive than your average synthetic um, eyelash, but cruelty-free. Mink, obviously, if you want to wear, and this isn't a educational video or to put you off at all, but obviously mink is an animal, so um, they are dying so that you can wear a pair of eyelashes on the face. And I think in this day and age, there's so many different brands and the synthetic lashes are now so good. It's not like we used to get out of the drugstore these chunks of plastic on our eyeballs. They're really lovely, really comfy. They come in so many different varieties. And um, yeah, anyway, that's my rant about synthetic lashes. Never use mink lashes, never ever will. Um, and yeah, go, go synthetic. To apply the lashes I'm going to be using some trusty duo glue. There has been some debates in the past about this but as of filming, vegan and cruelty free. And we're back. So lashes are on, they are dried. I really like these. They're just a little bit fluttery, but quite natural as well. I love a big lash, but I also like to see my eyeshadow, like when you do looks like these as well. So they're so like a nice medium, but they are really lovely. If I can find the style, I'm pretty sure they might be Malibu um, from the Morphe website, but if I can find the style, I'll leave it below. If not, I will just link to all of Morphe's synthetic lashes and um, so you can have a look. Next up is bronzer. Now this one is very very well loved so it's kind of like a darker ashy tone so I'm going to use this to kind of contour and bronze at the same time. This is in the colour Solar 110 and this again is from MUA Makeup Academy. We're going to use that. That is a matte bronzer just to um, give a little bit of definition into the face. Okay, looking a little bit warmer, a little bit more definition, a little bit more cheekbone moment. Blush today, I mean, this is a really good option as well. Another Morphe, Morphe, Jeffrey, no, Morphe and James Charles palette. Now this palette is the Unleash Your Inner Artist, fully vegan, and I have got to say as well, do excuse the state of mind, but um, there is so much diversity in here that you can use. These tones for your contours, highlights, you could use that as a face powder. We've got blusher shades and everything in here which is what I'm going to be using it for today. So I would definitely, if you are looking for something that can have multiple uses, go and get this. So I think I'm going to be using, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even sure what it's called, I think it's pinkity drinkity but anyway we're going to be using a little bit of that on the cheeks as blush to kind of tie in. I used to think that blush was like so underrated and then I keep looking at pictures of me now like with no blush on and I'm like I look like one of the zombies out of The Walking Dead. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the end of my nose as well because I did it the other day when I was doing a faux freckle look on Instagram. If you're being nosy, go and have a look. And I, I loved it. I really, really loved it. So, by the time we get highlighter on there as well, I won't really notice, but oh no, it's there. Moving on to one of my favorite parts ever, highlighter. There are so many amazing, amazing vegan and cruelty-free highlighters out there. Um, Drugstore-wise, MUA, again, I really like that brand. It's really accessible. It's in Boots, Superdrug, Makeup Revolution highlighters are. This one that I got the other day, well, it was a liquid highlighter that I got the other day, Glow Milk from the Beauty Crop. This is also vegan. But today, I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Highlighter Palette. That was a mouthful. A lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlighting palettes and uh, their pomades and things like that are actually vegan friendly, which I did not know until I checked. So I was like, okay, okay, we know that they're cruelty free, but vegan, cool. I am going to be dipping into this today. I'm probably Oh, I'm such a fiend. I love like all of them, so I might just have a little bit of dip of dip of this corner um, just to get in there. Maybe a little bit, maybe a bit of blue moon on the corner as well, just to you know be exciting. Oh, I just love a good highlight moment, don't you? I love that pinky shade in here. It's Pink Heart, it's called. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely stunning. It's just like, especially if you have a similar colored eye look, um, to just add something extra within that stream. It's just, it's so So I'm gonna take a little bit of that highlight in the inner corner and really make that stand out. All that's left to do now is lips and then we're done. So I have the three lip products that I'm going to be using today. So this is from the makeup gallery, which is Poundland. Um, they are cruelty free and they have so many of their makeup items that are actually vegan. A lot of their lip liners, their lipsticks, um, their liquid lipsticks. I think at the minute the eyeliners are not vegan. I'm pretty sure that may be one of the only few things that aren't, but Poundland, you can't really get much more affordable for makeup than Poundland and I actually really rate these. So I'm gonna be using this in, um, there's a colour on here somewhere, Fuchsia Fizz. So I'm going to be using the lip liner in Fuchsia Fizz. Next is going to be the liquid lipstick, matte lip colour, Pout Matters, again from the Makeup Gallery. So a pound once more. I actually really like this colour. This is Nude Caramel. So I'm going to be putting that on as well. We'll do like a bit of a ombre lip moment because we haven't got enough going on in our eyes already. And then to just top it off and give that a little bit of a gloss, Nudie Gloss is Revolution, Makeup Revolution uh, Lip Gloss. This is in the color Soul. So these are actually really, really nice. They're the sort of jelly tube tops as well, which are really, really good. So you can pop them in your handbag, take them on the go with you, top up. Um, and a lot of the Revolution lip glosses are. You do have to watch some of the uh, more brighter, bright, brighter colours, um, as some of them do still contain carmine, which is obviously crushed beetle you weren't aware and is used in many many cosmetics and foods still so um, I am going to do that and then we will meet back here after have a close-up and see what you guys think of the full face of vegan makeup vegan makeup. I actually really, really love 
some of these products um, and I really liked how this look turned out as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and would you like to see more of these? Maybe I could do a skincare one that is vegan and cruelty free, um, hair care, something like that. Let me know if that'd be something to interest you that you would um, like to watch in a future video. Thank you so much for joining me today and uh, maybe you learned about a few products that you weren't aware of before. Maybe um, you just just like the look of this makeup and want to give it a go. As I said at the beginning of the video, everything that I used in this video will be listed in the description box down below. Um, there are no affiliate links of any sort or anything like that. It's just so you know where to look. I'll also put a few articles on there as well about um, hidden ingredients in makeup and stuff like that. When I was reading through things to check all of these items, um, uh, I, was, I was a bit shocked by some of the stuff that was in there so if that interests you as well I will leave a link down below that you can click on and have a nose and have a read for yourself. Subscribe if you enjoyed it, if you feel like it, if you liked the video uh, then give us a thumbs up and let me know, let me know about the skincare ideas and stuff like that or just in general anything that you want to see me do here on this channel. I will see you guys very soon in another video and uh, ciao. Bye!